Lissa. Take a look at the cameras. We just looked at the video connectors. So now we would like to look at hooking up video cameras. I left the RC receiver connected and I left the video transmitter connected because they'll just be useful during this. But here's a little video camera. And if we look up here at the pin layout of the 765 wing, we'll see right here we have camera one and camera two. We have ground voltage signal, ground voltage signal. Uh, you've heard me say in some of my videos, I'm not sure if this nine volts changes based on this pad out here, which is located right here. I don't know if it's five volts. I suspect that it's just this one pad that voltage changes from five volts to nine volts, depending on how you bridge this pad with solder. Here's five volts and nine volts that it changes. And it's just saying VSW, it's not saying these two nine volt pins. And also there's a nine volt rise to 12 volts if this jumper right up here, these two solder pads are solder bridged together, then the nine volts becomes 12 volts. I honestly think that's just this one. Uh, there's some ways I can experiment and find that out for sure. So that's a simple setup of a camera. If you look back at our little camera, uh, right down the back of it, here's the pinout for the uh, connector out of the camera. And I have a video of that someplace. Video. No, it's not a video. It's a uh, picture. There we go. So you'll see on the screen, I hope this shows it well enough. The top red pin is 5 to 36 volts in for this camera. The next pin down, the black one, is ground for this camera. The next one down is video. The yellow wire is for video out of this camera. Those are the three we need. We don't really need any of the others. Uh, I'm not really going to talk about what the others can do. But you can see the bottom two are a transmit and a receive on a UART. So mm -hmm, probably some pretty fancy stuff can go on here. By the way, this is the Run Cam Phoenix 2 Josh Bardwell edition. Our old friend from just across the uh, mountain in Knoxville. We're on the other side in Asheville, Western North Carolina. So now if you look back at the uh, camera in my hand, that's what I did. Oops. If I get the camera right, I've got voltage going in, red pin, top, black, next one down, and yellow for video. And those are wired up straight across so that the black on this side is ground, the red is voltage. And the white, in this case, the white becomes yellow inside the shrink wrap where I sh sorted all three of those wires to this. It's just an RC cable. Just a really simple way to do it. So now if we go back and we look at the pins. 
you can see ground nine volts and signal ground nine volts and signal so we'll orient the connector this way ground nine volts and signal and that goes in right above the video transmitter See, I've already got camera one plugged in down here. A little camera one sort of pointing that way. I'm going to plug in camera two here to the next connector up. There, that's plugged in. So if we go back to our pinout again here, this was camera one. That's sort of pointing towards my screen. And camera two. It's plugged in right here. And since you can see, it's kind of pointing down the bench. So they're pointing in different directions here. While I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and hit this real quick. Another function of this VSW pad is the fact that it can be turned on and off using iNav user one function. That's what's being discussed right here. You gotta really dig a lot of this stuff out of this data sheet. But it's there. <sighs> so technically you can turn camera one uh two, I'm sorry, not one, camera two. You can turn camera two off and on. Like it says right here, off and on via user one function. They say don't do that. You know, if you're switching from camera one to camera two and then you've got to wait to turn it on and then it's got to power up and all that, it's just delay. So I won't be using it for that function. But let's just say you had one camera or you weren't even connecting your video transmitter and one camera to this board. That right there can be used in conjunction with this ground right here easily to power a relay, to switch a, a string of LEDs on. Uh, yeah, I guess if it's nine or 12 volts even, yeah, it could do some hot LEDs. You'd want it jumpered right here at five volts if you had a, just a string of unprogrammable five volt leds six leds let's say you could jumper the solder pad solder bridge right here for five volts put this five volts on the led ground it, alarm. ground the uh, leds here and uh by using user function one inside of iNav, you could turn this pad on and off, thus turning on and off those LEDs. So this right here and this user function has a lot of power. Okay, if we're using a video transmitter connected here and two cameras connected here, it's probably not that powerful to turn that video camera to on and off. Just too much delay. But if this pad's not being used for a camera, it becomes like a, a, a really killer. You could have 12 servo channels and then this be uh, the 13th, uh, technically. <laughs> Uh, then down here real quick while we're talking about this stuff we'll just go through the rest of this uh, there's a user 2 function in iNav right here to switch between camera 1 and camera 2 and like it says here uh, camera 1 video is what's being input that's the default. In other words, this signal is being passed to here. And in the other position on the uh, user 2 function, camera 2 video is being input from this pin to here. And like it says here, VTX, 
BTX pin this video out for the video transmitter. So now then, let's go and I guess we'll come out here and we'll power up. First with USB, so we can go into iNav if we need to do some configuring. There we go. We're powered up. We've got our receivers receiving now. But, again, we don't have video output. And actually the cameras are not powered up at this moment either. Until we, of course, turn on the supply voltage. Now, videos A11. Voltage is being sent to our cameras. We come in here and look at our camera. We can see right now, camera one, the one right here, pointing at my screen, is the one being sent to the video transmitter. Now if I flip the switch, you can see that I switch to the camera that's pointing down my bench over towards where my uh, video camera is and I can switch back and forth between those cameras so there's camera one camera two now I'm just going to show you real quick um, also you can turn off camera two there's camera two turned off uh, the video feed is coming from the C2 pin. It is going out the VTX pin into the video transmitter, but there's nothing there except for OSD until I turn the VSW voltage back on. And you can see that right there is what they're talking about. If you have that camera off and you're on camera one and you want to look at camera two either turn camera two on right now with that switch and then switch to it or right now oh excuse me and then switch to it but if you have camera two off and you switch to it and then even as fast as I can I switch it on there's a time period that the camera's coming up so I I'm not going to use the on off function of the uh, user one function of switching the VSW pad. I'm just going to switch between uh, the camera here, the two cameras. And so that pretty much, oh, I guess I should know, show you the iNav part, shouldn't I? <laughs> okay, let's do that. We'll go into iNav and connect to our platform. The only thing in iNav for this is... the user one and the user two function. And you remember user one was where VSW is turned on and off. And you can see there is that channel on my radio. It's on, it's now off. And actually, when I pull that switch down into the third position, because it's a three-position switch, uh, it actually turns back on. So I guess what I should do, if I just wanted to act like a two-position switch, I should do that. And then I should be... Oops. Uh, I 
It didn't work. Oh, well. Anyway, and then here's your user 2 function here. I've got that on channel 9 on my radio. And you can see that's how it switches between the two cameras. Right there would be on camera 2. That would be camera 1. Camera 2, camera 1. And that's all you do. You just jump in here and pick which channel on your radio you're going to use to send that function. Uh, and I happen to use channel 9 for my uh, camera switching channel. And I use channel 8 for turning camera 2 or the VSW voltage pad on and off with user 1 function. That's all there is to it. And we dug that information right out of right here in the data sheet for the 765 wing where we have user 1 function here and user 2 function there. Uh, I don't know what else to say at this point. That's pretty much what you do to hook up cameras. I guess I could go back and add one little tidbit right now. See, we were talking about the video cameras, video transmitter and function. Inside iNav, I'm going to hit this just really, really quickly. In configuration, there is a place where, because we have smart audio enabled, we can now come in here and make decisions on what signals are sent to the video camera when we power up uh, an iNav-based flight controller. These are defaults right here. What's especially useful and why I mention it is this right here. <sighs> You can set this to either always or until first arm and set the power level to your max power. And until you arm the aircraft, the video transmitter will stay at 25 milliwatts. And when you arm the aircraft, it'll jump up to its maximum power output. When you disarm, it will stay at that maximum power output, in my opinion. No. Hmm. Yeah, I think it stays until you disarm. When you disarm, it drops back down to minimum. And I think if you put always here... that the power stays at high video power even after you disarm after a flight. Enabling this option will make the VTX use its lower power while aircraft is disarmed until first arm to make it use until first arm to make it use the lowest power only until you arm for the first time. Yeah, I think until first arm, when you disarm, would. Anyway, that's just a little area that has a, a little bit of an association with um, video transmitters. Go ahead and play with that. And with that, I guess we've done, I don't know what else to say about uh, the video section, video transmitter and camera section of a 765 wing. And it's really easy and straightforward. Video transmitter, camera one, camera two. Thank you.